Welcome back. For this severe weather season, both the Skywatch weather team and the National Weather Service have new technology to better detect severe weather, especially tornadoes. Meteorologist Nick Kelly shows us how software updates are helping us keep you ahead of the storm. It's easy to spot this structure on the northwest side of Springfield. It's controlled by the Springfield National Weather Service office and is key to scanning the skies of southwest Missouri and extreme southeast Kansas. This golf ball-like dome houses a WSR-88D, a radar installed during the 90s here in Springfield, but recently many upgrades have been proven beneficial to the Weather Service. Uh, and the great thing about it is it allows us to view data in various forms. Two years ago, all National Weather Service radars across the country received dual polarization upgrades. This technology allows meteorologists to better detect rain, snow, and hail, but it also provides big benefits during severe weather. If we see a circulation on radar with that debris being lofted, we know a tornado is either ongoing or has recently occurred. Jason Schaumann is a forecast meteorologist with the National Weather Service's Springfield office. We didn't expect such great technology when it came to de detecting these tornado debris signatures. Schaumann says this upgrade provides real-time data and acts as a virtual storm spotter. When it comes to protection of life and property, being able to confirm a tornado like that in real time, it's a great benefit. You'll notice on this warning, the Skywatch weather team can now take advantage of the dual polar radar's capability to detect tornado debris. We can look for ourselves and show you at home if a tornado is on the ground and causing damage. The latest software updates like Avset and Sales help give back time to meteorologists. With Avset, the radar spins around at a half degree tilt. It continually tilts up and scans higher in the atmosphere until it no longer detects precipitation. That's when it returns to its lowest level. What that enables us to do then is see those lower cuts of the atmosphere more frequently. So you talk about tornadoes forming or circulations forming, we're going to see those a lot quicker than with the previous technology. The sales update works in a similar fashion. Instead of continually tilting up, once the radar gets halfway, it returns to its lowest level for a quick scan before jumping back to scan higher altitudes. We are getting twice the amount of lower level volume scans of this radar to where we're going to see those quick spin ups to develop in between radar volume scans. Shaman says this upgrade allows the National Weather Service to better detect spin ups versus the old radar technology, but it still leaves a bit of uncertainty for him and his colleagues. While this technology has greatly improved, it's still not telling us everything we need to know when it comes to what a severe thunderstorm is or is not producing. Which is why Shaman says the National Weather Service still needs storm spotters and ground truth reports. Thanks, Nick. These upgrades apply to all National Weather Service radars across the country. They'll be helpful to meteorologists in terms of issuing severe thunderstorms and tornado warnings.